Okay, this is Bruce at Bookmap, and uh, we're going to go through the Bookmap platform details uh, here in this webinar. Okay, risk disclaimer, trading equities and futures involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not indicative of future results. For more information on Bookmap, go to bookmap.com, uh, and there's a 14-day free trial. All right, and this will uh, not only allow you access to Bookmap, uh, but it also uh, gives you access to a lot of uh, our content. Okay, so for example, uh, we have the advanced order flow webinars um, in uh, about a half hour, okay, at 11 a.m. Eastern time. Uh, and uh, there's an educational course as well uh, and, um, and some other resources. So those will be available uh, for uh, current customers. And you can always reach out to us at support at bookmap.com. All right, so um, uh, let me show you where you can find Bookmap. Okay, so at uh, bookmap.com, uh, click on Explore here. And uh, there's some intro videos if you're new here. Uh, maybe watch these. They're very short. And uh, then there's just information on what Bookmap is, the platform, the benefits, <clears throat> etc. You can see our partners here. Uh, and then there's book map for equities here as well. And uh, if you guys have questions about that, let me know. Uh, I can show you uh, 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 several equities that I have uh, already uh, here in book map uh, and show you what's going on there. We use the NASDAQ total view, um, which uh, is an excellent uh, data feed. Okay. Um, uh, connectivity. Okay. So we are a platform. We are not a uh, data provider. Uh, you will need to connect uh, Bookmap to your data provider or broker, uh, and these are the methods for connecting. All right. Uh, a little bit further down, uh, the uh, 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 pricing page here. Okay. So uh, we have the basic, uh, advanced, and quant. Okay. So in general, uh, there's just one version of Bookmap. Of the book map basic it's 49 per month it's billed quarterly uh, and you get that 14 day trial period okay now for added add-on features that would be the advanced version or uh, the advanced offering uh, and uh, one of them is the ability to trade right from the chart okay uh, and then there are others as well these are proprietary indicators that we developed uh, that uh, show something unique in the order flow uh, that is available in the advanced um, offering here and then uh, for those of you who are quants connecting to your own data displaying your own proprietary indicators and uh, your uh, order queue estimation or API uh, you're going to need uh, the uh, the quant features uh, so you can reach out to us here by just uh, clicking on learn more okay all right you can follow us here on Twitter uh, and you can also subscribe to our YouTube page so let me let me let me show you this uh, this page here uh, so if you're new um, where to begin uh, consuming some of the content, uh, I would recommend first, uh, we'll watch this uh, little intro video here, uh, and then uh, some of the features and components. Uh, maybe just start with the Bookmap 6.0 overview, or you can click here uh, on the um, features and components playlist, and uh, you can look at all of the uh, different uh, features that are here in Bookmap. All right. Uh, so you get, an under you get an understanding of what Bookmap is, uh, as a platform, okay. <clears throat> Order flow video snippets. Uh, this would be um, the next step. If once you understand how to use the platform, what does it show you, uh, and uh, how to utilize it uh, within your trading? Uh, these are the videos to watch here. They're very concise. They're very short. Uh, just go through uh, order flow phenomena that is very easily and readily uncovered in Bookmap. Okay, so for example, uh, absorption, exhaustion, flipping of the order book, uh, these types of things, um, you know, I would uh, encourage you to watch some of these videos. Uh, and this is the kind of content that we go through uh, in the advanced webinars, okay? But we go through them in detail and we see them day in and day out, all right? There's also a pro trader webinar series that we had. If you want to watch some of uh, these webinars, how pro traders are using Bookmap, uh, there, and you want uh, some insight to uh, some of those uh, advanced order flow webinars, uh, you can watch them here. Okay. All right. Let's jump in and let's look at Bookmap. Uh, let's see what's what's moving here today. Um, you know, looking at the uh, the Nas, we've been looking at the Nasdaq last few days. Uh, we can see oils coming up to uh, uh, area up here of interest. 
Um, and uh, gold, or that's the 6E, okay, gold as well. I mean, uh, gold is uh, trending on the upside. Uh, let's see, maybe uh, maybe go with, uh, uh, maybe we'll go with oil uh, and take a look here uh, today at, at, at oil, all right? So crude, uh, and um, uh, let's zoom out of here a little bit in the NASDAQ and just, just to make sure here. I mean, we can see the 930 open, a, a pretty sharp move to the to the downside here, or initial move up and then uh, <clears throat> move to the downside. How does that fit in the bigger picture here? Okay, nice, nice uh, little uh, run below this area here. And uh, what's that crude look like? Okay. Yeah, all right. Well, we'll, we'll stick with crude then. Um, all right. Well. Uh, so, for those of you who are new here to Bookmap, um, and um, there, there are quite a few new new traders in here, so uh, uh, we're going to go through what Bookmap is and what it's showing you. Because I, I imagine you're looking at this and thinking like this looks like uh, something very foreign you've never seen before. Okay, uh, I'm going to uh, show you that it's actually really simple data, uh, and uh, this is not an indicator. Uh, it's it's not some derivative of time, price, or volume. Now we do have an indicator subpanel down here, but I'm going to close that up, and we're just going to go through the basics here. Uh, understand what bookmap is showing you, uh, and um, in general, uh, I'm going to show you that uh, this here is a very clear and objective view of what's going on in the marketplace. All right, and uh, I'm going to have to. Uh, bring up some of these uh, settings here for the uh, heat map. All right, so, um, uh, and um, so as I get get into that, um, basically what we're showing you here, we're showing you the historical best bid and offer, where the volume traded, the, the volume dots here, uh, and then we're also showing you the um, historical view of the dome. Okay, this is the current dome over here, as you can see in the COB column right here. Okay, but we take this data and we project it onto the chart historically. So you can see where people are bidding and offering historically, uh, and it gives a lot of insight. Okay, that's it. That's all we're showing, just these three things. Okay, so uh, very, very objective and very, very simple. Uh, even though this looks very complex, uh, it's, it's really not. Uh, so uh, let's get into uh, exactly uh, uh, what we're showing here, okay? And let me describe this. And I'm going to turn off all of these layers of data, okay? And uh, here we're looking at a five-minute candlestick chart. Now, we all are accustomed to looking at a candlestick chart, okay? Uh, so um, you can see here at uh, 9 o'clock, this is when the crude opened, and you can see the nice move to the upside here. Uh, in the cash uh, session, and uh, so far we've been holding up here. So, I mean, you know, we, we can read the uh, open, high, low, close of each candle and start to gain an understanding of buyers and sellers and, and where volume may have traded, but we don't know, right? And that's a problem uh, because we can see here that uh, uh, all we have in the candlestick is open, high, low, close of this five-minute period, okay? And we're, we're just kind of reaching here to understand, well, what happened in this area? What kind of volume traded here? Uh, was it aggressive buyers? Uh, where did they trade? Uh, and how much did they trade? You know, we have a volume subchart down here, okay? And this is good. That tells us a little bit more. Uh, we know that there is a volume spike here, uh, and um, but that's it. We don't. We can't answer those other questions, and that's an issue. We're trying to make uh, uh, as best uh, as we can uh, insightful. Um, financial trading decisions here, uh, and this is very limited data, okay? Uh, we're gonna, I'm going to show you here that uh, we're going to look at a lot more transparency and understand exactly what's going on in some of these areas and make much more informed trading decisions, okay? So uh, that's the candlestick. Let's just turn on best bid and offer, okay? Historical best bid and offer, and that's it. That's all we're looking at here. Uh, the candlesticks and historical best bid and offer. Now, just that one layer of data is already showing me quite quite a bit. 
all right? I can I can understand microstructural areas within these candlesticks. So, you know, the price movement and the structure and the break of the structure, okay? Like this move here uh, to the upside, you know, we see the, the big candle here, okay? And the quick move to the upside. Uh, but that move actually started here, okay? In the microstructure. So you have that insight here. In fact, uh, it started here uh, on the breakout. It came up and it came back and retested where it broke from here. Uh, and the buyers came in and, and just, um, uh, you know, they uh, lifted the offer pretty quickly. Okay. Uh, so uh, this is the kind of structure uh, that gives us this insight. Uh, and um, uh, you, we can, um, we're going to show you, though, or I'm going to show you here uh, where, uh, the, the, these trades uh, actually took place in the commitment of the traders. Okay, so let's uh, turn on the volume now. Okay, volume dots are uh, a little, little, a little too big here. So let me uh, come to the volume dots and let's bring down the size a little bit. <clears throat> now that looks a lot better. Okay, so now I have the historical best bid and offer. Okay, and I have the volume dots. Okay, so let's zoom into this little area right here. And I'm just going to click on this move tool, the hand. Uh, I'm going to hover over this area, and then I'm going to zoom in really quickly with my center mouse wheel. Okay, so here's where at that move took place. Okay, this is really the insight right here. Uh, and uh, we can see the aggressive buying lifting the offer up into a new structural area. Okay, so um, now before I get into uh, that and the retest back here and the and the kind of exhaustion in this area here, um, I, I want to uh, first cover what the volume uh, is here in Bookmap and what you're looking at. So let's we're going to zoom into this area here very quickly, and um, you can see um, the uh, the red uh, line here and the green line. This is your historical best offer, and this is your historical best bid. The green line. Okay. Now the dots that took place here. Okay. Uh, these are ag the uh, aggressive market buy and sell orders. And why do we consider them aggressive? We use the aggressor classification of volume. It's because they crossed the spread they wanted into the market and they took liquidity off of the best offer. They hit the market buy button and a dot paints here on the best offer. Okay. So these are individual trades. Okay, and you can all, I can already see here. Look at how the spacing and the um, uh, and this is we're looking at uh, uh, you know 30 seconds of data uh, between each vertical dotted line here. But you can already see some algorithmic activity here uh, just by the uh, uh, one algo is taking a couple of trades, another couple of trades, and then another couple of trades, etc. Okay, so uh, yeah, it's uh, it's this just by reading the uh, the spacing here, you, you can start to understand some of the algorithmic activity in the trading. Um, and uh, let's continue to zoom in here. All right, so I, I'll I'll hover on this dot here and continue to zoom in. All right, so uh, we're going to see that uh, this dot here is actually several little trades that took place. Okay. We're now down at the microsecond level, so millions of seconds. All right, we can continue to zoom in, and we can look down at the nanosecond level here. Okay, now we're looking. You can see in the timeline here, uh, we're looking at billions of seconds. I know exactly what traded here, uh, when it took place, uh, and for how much. You can use this this tool here, the data tip tool. Hover over here. This was one individual trade for 14. Uh, contracts okay I have the date the time what was on the ask okay so the liquidity here was 101 contracts that's showing up here in the dome as well okay and I also know the the uh, the volume and the and the price level so at 50 uh, 52 uh, 101 was on the ask and this was for a volume of 14 okay now if you're trading algorithmically or uh, with uh, automated strategies, you know, maybe this can be really in, uh, insightful and in understanding to see where you got filled. Uh, but um, most of us are not trading off of these time frames. So what's what's the point? What's the reason? All right. Uh, I just want to show you that because we came from this environment uh, and this visualization tool was actually developed to show where 
our uh, automated strategies, uh, the algos we were developing, where they were getting filled and how. Uh, and then uh, uh, Bookmap developed into a software platform from that. Okay. Now, as I zoom back out, notice how all of these individual trades here, okay, uh, aggressive market buys, uh, I'm going to compress this timeline down here as I zoom out, and it becomes a bigger dot. Okay. So I have the overall shape of this volume aggregated visually for me, okay, just visually and graphically. It's uh, it all the data is still here. We can zoom right back in and we can uh, uh, pull apart every single trade activity here. Okay, it's all recorded in Bookmap. Okay, we have a very powerful complex event processor that can handle millions of data points. All right. So <clears throat> anyway, that's what uh, you're looking at uh, with the with the volume, uh, and then uh, that's the aggressive buying, and then here's the aggressive selling. Now note uh, some of these other uh, pie chart displays of the volume. Okay, this is the overall delta of the volume at these areas. Again, we can again we can use the data tip tool, hover over, and I can see that uh, this was for a volume of 240. Okay, why is it a pie display? It's because there's so much activity here that we we've compressed the timeline with both buys and sells, and we're giving you the overall shape of that volume. All right. So you can see exactly what traded. Uh, you have the understanding that there's more buying up here than there is selling. Okay. All right. So that's the volume. Uh, and um, uh, the, um, yeah, I mean, look at how this candlestick here basically uh, gives you some uh, misinformation. Uh, we see the, uh, the move to the upside here. Uh, and then uh, you, you get a wick on this candle. Uh, I mean, but this is this is exactly what we look at uh, in the advanced webinars. You see the um, the uh, aggressive buying, lifting the offer, sweeping the book higher uh, into uh, these areas up here, uh, outside of this micro range. Okay, and it comes back, and you see very little selling here. There's some, but it's it's not that uh, uh, extensive. Uh, and then you see that the uh, the buyers start to come back in here, and then here uh, they sweep the book. Okay, and uh, and we see the move to the upside. All right, so uh, that's what uh, we're looking at in terms of volume. Uh, now, that's an important part of order flow, uh, and uh, you know your your footprint charts, uh, your volume profile guys, uh, looking at um, um, you know all sorts of uh, traded volume. It's important. Uh, what is uh, good with Bookmap? Uh, in its in its visual display here is that microstructure. Okay, so you're going to miss this in your footprint chart. You're not going to see uh, the in you know it's going to aggregate back and forth within a time period, uh, and you're not going to see uh, these microstructural areas here. Okay, because we have the, the best bid and offer, uh, and uh, it we, we can show everything uh, in that structure. It's not the it's not the aggregation of it. All right. So anyway. Uh, the um, uh, understanding the uh, uh, the volume is important, but what about uh, the the other side of the uh, of order flow in the market? We want to know the participants. Okay, where are they lined up in this auction? And it is an auction. Each market here is an auction. We're using uh, a lot of the auction market theory here as well. Okay, we can see here at 50, 70, there's 320 contracts here quite a bit 5075 there's uh, 339 it's probably the same guy uh, you know spread out five cents here uh, but um, uh, that's providing a lot of that liquidity uh, but uh, uh, you know anyway that's just a, a you know hypothesis there um, so but that's important data we want to know that all right now uh, and this this uh, current view of the limit order book here, is giving us some pretty good data. Okay, we can see that uh, there's 200 contracts here, uh, very very aggressively uh, uh, placed here, just below the best bid. Okay, so uh, you know maybe a bit of a skew in the book there, um, and uh, we'll see if they just got filled or not. Uh, but um, we're getting we're gaining some insight to the market and the intent of these uh, participants providing liquidity. Do they really want to trade 
or are they just uh, going to pull their liquidity as price comes there uh, and uh, decide not to uh, not to trade? Okay. Well, that kind of insight uh, is rather difficult to get from the current order book. Uh, because uh, these numbers change, the liquidity changes, and once it updates, that previous data is lost. Okay, so that's the the problem with the with the limit order book, uh, the dome. Okay, uh, where where bookmap solves that problem is with the heat map. Okay, and uh, the heat map here, uh, what we do in this window here, which is also the current order book. Okay, best bid and offer right here currently. And this is the last traded volume right here. Uh, and um, uh, what we do uh, in this window here is we take those areas of high liquidity and we turn it into a heat map. Right? So you can see 50, 70 here, 300 contract over 300 contracts is very bright. Okay, now it's a little too bright here for me. Um, and we'll, we can just adjust that heat map to get a little more insight here. Okay, so 171. See, it's a, a, it's a little darker here. It's still high liquidity, but it's darker compared to 5070. Okay, so we have an understanding here in this current market window. When these numbers change, the heat map changes. All right, you can see them adding and pulling right here at, uh, at 66. Okay, now where this gets interesting is we take this data here and it's recorded and projected onto the chart historically. Okay, so uh, what we're looking at here uh, with this, look at this, uh, these striations here in the liquidity, okay, right here uh, at this 66 level. This is the adding and pulling of liquidity, All right? So uh, price is coming up, and now uh, do these guys really want to trade or not? And uh, I would bet no uh, because they're, they continue to add and pull here. Uh, as price moves away, they add it back in. As price comes back up, they, they pull it. Okay, so uh, probably up here uh, it, they have, you know, we, we'll see if we get up here uh, if they have the intent to trade. But we can start to gauge now that the, these guys here at 66, um, you know, they're, they're probably going to pull. Uh, so uh, we, we know that uh, just by this this kind of, you know, looking at this behavior here of this, uh, uh, this level uh, of, in price, uh, that the, the players at this level, uh, don't have a lot of intent to trade. Okay, they have some, but they're also pulling a lot of it. All right. Now we'll see if we come up here and test it, um, and uh, if they um, uh, completely pull. All right. But we have all of this data, so we're able to make use of their intent at this area. Okay. So we can make a distinction between what's real and what's not in terms of liquidity. All right, and that gives a lot of insight here uh, because uh, now we can start to understand where the larger traders are uh, providing liquidity and have the intent to trade. Okay, so uh, for example, uh, look at this trending uh, market to the upside. Uh, we continue to uh, trade into high liquidity at higher areas. That's very indicative of a trending market. Uh, and then on, on these pullbacks, actually you do see some support here at 50-40. Okay, now we're just, we're just breaking out here. Okay, and we can let's go back and answer that question. All right, so uh, uh, did these guys have the intent to trade? Actually, they did. Uh, I'm kind of surprised. Um, uh, 167 contracts traded right here, and they remained in the book with 227. Okay, on the offer. Okay, so kind of kind of interesting to see. So it uh, uh, looks like uh, you know they kept on adding and pulling, but in the end, uh, you know, we see the transaction. Okay, it's all here. We know uh, they absorb price up at this level. Okay, they are now short. The buyers took these guys on, and they actually traded through. Okay, they lifted the offer through this area. They swept the book. They took all of the liquidity up into these other areas here. Look at them jump on the other side here on the uh, on the bid now. Okay, and then they actually pull here. Okay. Now we're at a new trading level, okay? We're, we're above this 65 area right here. Okay, it's actually, the breakout here actually took place around 66. Uh, but, uh, uh, and we're trading above it, okay? Are we gonna accept or reject above this area? 
Okay. Well, if we're going to uh, if we're going to accept, uh, I'm looking for a little bit stronger breakout. I'm looking for more buyers to start to show up and uh, lift the offer again. I'm seeing some selling coming in though. Okay. I'm seeing some selling here as well, and up in this area here, I don't see a lot of buying. All right. So based on this and based on the strength of this move, uh, there's the possibility now uh, for this to uh, uh, maybe come back down and test into, uh, you know, th this area around 50, 60 or so. All right. OK, just by understanding the order flow, the traders and, and their intent to trade at these levels, if they really wanted to uh, buy and continue to support price above this 66 level, we'll see them flip in the book here and they're gonna provide high liquidity up at this area here, okay? Around around the 65 or 64 area, okay? And uh, they're starting to, I mean, we can see a little bit of activity here, but uh, it's, it's not that, it's not that uh, extensive, okay? What about on the offer? How are they behaving? Okay, they're, they're back in here at 70. Right now, are they being aggressive? Are they lowering the offer? Um, are, do we see other traders front running them uh, uh, around this 70 level uh, or, or not? And uh, now it looks like they're just kind of staying here. OK, so, uh, you know, where's the, if the market rotates back up, it's going to find the liquidity here at 5070. And we just we just retested that area. Okay, and uh, let's, uh, I'm going to bring up the, uh, bring down the white cutoff a little bit and get a little more insight here. Okay, and these guys are, are they're, they're staying in the book. Uh, I mean, they're adding and pulling too, but uh, you can see uh, last second they're kind of pulling, but they're, they're also interested in trading up here at, at, uh, at 70. All right. Now let's look at um, uh, some of the uh, uh, transactions that took place. Okay, well that's what we were doing earlier. Uh, I'm seeing some. Uh, this is a little different picture now. The retest up here was we didn't see a lot of buyers. We're starting to see buyers step in here uh, up uh, up at this level though. Okay, so maybe they'll tra trade through these guys and take them on now. Okay, it's a different picture than it was just just a, a minute or two ago. Okay, and here they come. Here come the aggressive buyers. Okay, trading through 70, okay, high liquidity now here at, uh, at 72, uh, and then 75 here up above. All right, any questions? Uh, I've got a good group in here today, uh, and uh, new, newer traders, uh, welcome. Uh, this is just the basics here. Uh, there's all sorts of things to, uh, to dive into in terms of the, the platform itself. Okay, trading into 72, now we're looking at 75, okay? Okay, now we're starting to see a flip of the book a, a bit here, or, you know, providing higher liquidity underneath, okay? As we continue to uh, lift the offer up, and they're trading through these guys, right? Right up and through these areas here, okay? All right. Okay, well, we noticed that behavior change here, okay? It happened here. Okay, originally it didn't look so good in this area here. Okay. And I thought it uh, looked like uh, we had the potential and I saw the selling here uh, and I saw some selling in here that we had the potential to come down and maybe test 60. Uh, but uh, it, this that all changed right here. Okay, and it looked pretty good. Uh, they were testing into these guys and um, uh, and then this uh, surely gave the, uh, the insight here as soon as you see them take them on here. <clears throat> and lots of volume trading at, at the higher higher area here than previously, okay? And they continue to lift the offer, All right? Anyway, uh, that's what Bookmap is showing you, uh, and I better jump to the uh, the next webinar, and uh, we'll we'll see you there, okay? All right, thanks guys. We'll see you tomorrow.